For years, there's been this anonymous prostitute who blogs by the name of Belle de Jour. Mm, totally. All right. There have been books written about her. There have been movies made about her. Um, and she's always been this anonymous woman who's talked about her sexual rendezvous. Mm. So, you know, she's like a legend. She's a prostitute legend. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But is that a, like a good thing when you're a legend among prostitutes? I mean, this woman sounds amazing, right? She, if okay. they write, if they write books about her and make a movie about her, she has to be fascinating in one way or another, right? Okay, so why is she so fascinating? She's fascinating because she just revealed her identity. Okay, uh, but she was fascinating before because people knew that she was, you know, someone who was not run of the mill, right? They knew she was a scientist, or they did, they did. I don't know if they knew she was a scientist. Uh huh. I think they just found her fascinating because she was so. Um, I guess, candid with her experiences. And that they knew she was a professional of some sort. Right. Right. So um, she's finally revealed herself. Her name is Brooke Magna Magnanti. Okay. Magnanti? Magnanti. Okay. Magnanti. Um, anyway, she is actually a researcher at the University of Bristol. As she was getting her PhD, she was a prostitute to make money to pay for her degree, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that, and we've talked about this before, this misconception that prostitutes are always these, you know, poor, uneducated women that who are... Who have no choice. Who have no choice, but this woman had a choice, and right. she was educated, she is educated, she's intelligent, and that's why I find her amazing. And the people who uh, she works with at the University of Bristol say, uh, first of all, the officials say there, it's none of our business, it's in her past, etc. So that's cool. Which is amazing. Yeah, that's, that is. That's actually the part of the story that I couldn't believe. Because mm -hmm. you know in any other uh, job situation, they'd be like, mm, you used to be a prostitute, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but in this case, they're like, hello, how you doing? So now my favorite part of the story was the people that she works with, the mm -hmm. professors, et cetera. They're like, oh, no, it's totally fine. Totally fine. What are you talking about? Totally fine. Yeah, no, no, no. It's cool. It's mm -hmm. cool. So you still working? <laughs> you know that that's what they think. Like, oh, really? I, I, I wonder if any of them will, but I can guarantee you mm -hmm. they're all thinking. Mm -hmm. So what does it take anyway? I mean, can you imagine if you found out one of your colleagues was a whore? Okay, I mean, you're working in an office, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, look, for you, this is not relevant, because women are like, who cares? Mm -hmm. It'd be weird and kind of disgusted, right? <laughs> not disgusted. I find it amusing. Okay, fair I'd enough. I'd probably gossip a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Did you know Brooke used to be a prostitute? Right. No, no, but if it was like a guy, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, it turns out that John was a prostitute. Oh, so like a male gigolo? Yeah. Most men are gigolos anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, what's the big deal, right? But anyway, for guys, it'd be like, it, especially if she was attractive, mm -hmm. Oh, oh! It's like an attractive girl at work. Like I'm picturing when I used to work at the law firm and stuff, mm -hmm. and the word got out that she, that's it. She's a prostitute. You could just be like, "Yeah, here, here's a hundred bucks. Come on, let's go. Come on. Two, all right, fine, two hundred. You would. Jake, you would not do that. No, of course I would. If wouldn't. she's already at the point where she's working as a lawyer, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the only reason why she did it is so she could pay for her PhD. No, no, I understand. I understand. But good. Three hundred dollars. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Okay, now, I wouldn't do it, but I see a lot of guys who'd be tempted to do that. Like, oh, can I just pay for it? That'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. You see, like, I'm not sure you get what I'm saying. It's because they know her. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, the idea, I think, for a guy to walk down the street and there's a hooker paying her 200 or 300 obviously a lot of guys, or 100 or whatever the price is, mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of guys find that appealing. That's why those girls find work. But they don't find it, like, super appealing. Mm -hmm. They find it appealing if it's an attractive woman that they already know. Totally. But if it's an attractive woman that they already know and someone that they already work for, there's a certain level of respect between them, right? They're not, they're not about to go up to the woman and offer money for sex. It's, it's different. I know, but they're thinking it. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe they're thinking it, but I don't think a guy would actually have the balls to do something that disrespectful in a work environment. At least one of them is going to do it. <laughs> okay. Like, so, uh, so, I can see it now. So, uh, anyway, um... Uh, you know, you, uh, you're brilliant, really brilliant. Uh, you know, so, how much? Uh, what do you think? We make this happen? Uh, how much? Uh, yeah, quite right. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. <laughs> uh, look, I know the mind of men, okay? And it's an ugly place. 
I'm just I'm just taking you for a little visit. That's all that's happening. So let me ask you something. So you're you're completely single, right? And we have some completely female single. we have some female intern working for no. us for several months or no. not even for a couple of years. No, no, no. Just stop right there. Stop super right there. intern. No, no, super. No, I'm not going to do it at, at this place under any Why? circumstances. Why? Why? Because this is this. your place of work. That's right. No, no, no. Wrong. That's because I, I love and care about this place, mm -hmm. and I don't want anything to go wrong, and I'm the boss, so mm -hmm. I would not want to, you know, have that kind of environment. No way. I wouldn't want to poison this place like that. Mm -hmm. No way, right? If I'm back at a job I don't care about, like my legal job, go ahead. Now ask me a question. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so you're at your legal job. Okay, yeah. But that doesn't count because you despise that job. Mm -hmm. There needs to be like a happy medium, like a job that you need, because you don't really need that job. I mean, everybody needs a job. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, some place I'm working with, this is not, that is not this. Go ahead. Okay, it's a job that you need to pay Perfect, your bills. Perfect, I got it. What? Okay, I'm the bad guy. Whammy, the uh, television okay. station I work for in Miami. I, it's a job I really like. Mm -hmm. Really like, mm -hmm. okay? It's not this, I didn't run the place, etc. Mm -hmm. Go. Okay, so I already know the answer. Because, no, what? what? You Because you know. offered it. Okay, fine. No, no, I don't know. All right, you're I, I got to think about it. I'm putting myself in that All right, so you're at Whammy, mm -hmm. all right? There's um, an attractive female there mm -hmm. who is in a power position. Mm. Oh, God, you shouldn't have put her there. <laughs> okay, no. Or she is, she's your peer. Let's okay. not say power position. She's okay. your peer. Uh -huh. I mean, you need that job. Yes. You like that job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because I was thinking about it, and uh -huh. then I was like, "Oh, you could just go buy one of them." No, I know. Look, there's no question, and a, a lot of no, people. But are gonna, you don't no, know. no, you're, a lot of people are going to get really angry at me. Okay, but I'm a bad man. That would be awesome. But she's not. You don't know if she's actually going to take it. Like, oh, that's different. Right, right. That's right. what no. I'm. That's what I'm oh, talking about. Oh no, no, no. About. I wouldn't insult her like that. I assume she's done with it, and I wouldn't go up to her. No, I, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I misinterpreted. I thought you find out she's active. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I'm saying case, you don't I'm like, know what? whether or not she's active. You have no idea. Like, we're not even having a conversation. You, the anchor, or whoever, right? Mm -hmm. Go. Go. Okay, well, that's different. If she's <laughs> an, if she's an active I'm... prostitute, why wouldn't she? Yeah, but I'm talking about she used to be a prostitute. You found out about her past. No, and no, no. That's okay. insulting. I agree with you. Okay. Because then we're in a professional environment. She's moved on with her life, mm -hmm. and then to come back and assume that she's always going to be a prostitute. No, nah, that's wrong. So... Right. I don't know. Did that do anything to mitigate how bad a man I am? No. Now, now you're not a bad man. Oh, I'm not. No, because no. Well, okay. So I, you I, find that acceptable? If she's an active prostitute and uh -huh. she's looking for a client, you're helping her out. Help that's, the sister out. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I do. I help sisters out. <laughs> I mean, back in the day when I was. Watch the live show at theyoungturks.com.